Michael Khaleesi. I'm from uh, Cranston, Rhode Island, and I'm chairman of the board of Fight SMA. My daughter was diagnosed with SMA at 11 months of age, where she was given a uh, two to three year life expectancy at that time. And it was shortly thereafter that uh, my wife was watching the Today Show, and she saw a gentleman that was uh, bowling across America to raise funds for Fight SMA. And that's where she first learned about Fight SMA and the uh, national organization in Virginia. We wanted to do something very positive at the time and contribute you know, positively to the disease in the, in the community. And that's when we got involved. We formed a Rhode Island chapter, and uh, we've been involved ever since. We have a family uh, business that started in 1908 by uh, my great-grandfather. And uh, so I'm the fourth generation of uh, leadership, and myself and, and my brother and my cousins are the fourth generation of ownership. We make bread and rolls, and, and we sell it from Maine to Virginia now. The Khaleesi brand can be found. Our main focus over the past few years has been legislation. Um, we really feel we need to, to obtain some federal dollars to bring this to fruition, to, to get a treatment or a cure for our kids. So that has been uh, my main focus and the boards as well. You know, we continue to work hard to raise money uh, for the researchers. They're an incredible group of people that are dedicated to uh, the Fight SMA cause. They've been involved in this some for, you know, the last 20 years, uh, along with Martha. To come every year to the annual conference and to hear them give us an update on what they're doing in their labs to potentially find the treatment or a cure um, is just amazing. As a parent, it, it's really amazing to hear the hard work that they do and their dedication to this disease. We, of course, are fighting for our children. Um, whether it will help our child or not, uh, we don't know that, you know, because it takes time for the research to come to fruition. But to help you know, the children of the future. Um, it's a horrible disease. Uh, nobody should have to live with it if we can help it. And if they do have to live with it, you know, maybe we can improve their quality of life, much, make it much better um, for, for our children. The most telling statistic, if you will, is that SMA is the number one inherited genetic killer of infants. Um, and those under the age of two. So when you think of anybody that has a child and, and, you, and you immediately tell them that statistic, SMA all, all of a sudden comes to the forefront. You know, this is the closest of any genetic neuromuscular disease to a treatment or a cure. And when we go into Congress and we tell them that, and we tell them that the research we're working on is going to affect many, many other diseases, that's a powerful message to deliver. Oftentimes, people don't want to support a single cause or fund a single cause. But when the research you're doing can affect so many other people in uh, so many ways, that becomes uh, a real powerful message. Mm -hmm.